Here we go, here we go, get it cranked up. Get a pat and go, get yourself moving around. You need a good physical day. Practicing in the bye week is always difficult because uh, no one wants to be there. They're feeling a little sorry for themselves, uh, but you still got to create a certain amount of tempo, a certain amount of pace to get done what you need to get done. A stretch. Some of y'all feeling sorry for yourself. Got to be out here on a bye week, hitting. I'm not naming names, AD, but he's not even listening to me, is he? You know, you'll before practice, you'll visit with the players a little bit, uh, make a few comments, try to get them to relax a little bit. You don't want to detract from the tempo of practice, but by the same token, regardless of how physical a day it needs to be, no matter how upset you are about uh, your start, you don't need to browbeat them before practice either. Here we go, we're running, we're running. Oh, we're gonna hit that sled. Oh, here we go, here we go. Favorite part of practice right here. When we hit the sled, it's all about get off. It's all about a team coming off together. The way we've run the ball to begin the season uh, isn't gonna get it done. And so you've really gotta get back to those fundamentals, almost a training camp mentality. Coming off the ball together, there should be one pop on that sled. It shouldn't sound like a popcorn machine. Uh, and getting them off together and, and starting the practice with that kind of physical, unified pop. Good, better? I didn't used to be big enough to affect the seven-man sled when I got on one side or the other, but I guess with my old age, I'm getting, uh, I'm getting old and heavy because now I can get them to turn that thing by standing on one side or the other. That's it, don't tear it up, don't tear it up. It's not it's that difficult. It's real hard to turn the, the seven-man sled machine without tearing up my, uh, tearing up my grass. Oh, you're, kill you're killing me, man, you're killing me. All right, good, 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 here we go. Better, better, better. Go quick, go quick, we crank it up next. Constantly trying to push the tempo in practice, making sure that they don't get uh, uh, lackadaisical. Uh, the old saying of they'll walk if you let them, so you don't let them. What we're doing this period is called a group run or group protection. It's just against uh, uh, your own guys, meaning the offense, put them in the jersey. It's a more mental as uh, aspect of practice than the physical one. Uh, getting the assignments right, what are the calls, uh, you, you want a certain tempo about it, but it's certainly a much more mental exercise than it is a physical exercise. Offense up, offense up, get your jersey right. When you service one another, many times you're very specific about what player's wearing what number. Offensively, we may uh, base our protections based on a particular number of the linebacker, or one safety or the other is more aggressive coming down into the box. So we put uh, uh, jerseys on our scout players with specific numbers on it so that the players can emulate what's going to happen in the game and they can make their calls based on the correct number. Good, good, come on, come on, hang in. Bring it up, bring it up, sec, bring it up, sec, real quick, 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 quick. Now they haven't gotten that far yet and you're gonna see it now. When we play the Jets, what their scheme is is fine, but you know what Donnie's got them doing is running and with intensity, right? Now, group run like that, that's fine. We're figuring out who we're having, but in this period right here coming up, okay, I don't want to see anybody catching anybody and not coming off the ball. When I say I don't want them catching, what it means is I don't want to be position blocking, uh, getting to a position where I think I'm just going to cut my man off. You can't play the New York Jets that way. It's got to be physical with a hat on a hat. you got to push and get movement. I would rather have you go after someone and miss them than see you on your heels and catching people this period. Now, if I had my druthers, I'd like to see you come off and hit them too, okay? You understand what I'm saying? Anytime you go from a group period, which is really, as I said earlier, more of a mental period, going into what we're about to go into, which is a, a live versus the defense period, uh, you don't want the temperament of the previous period to carry over into that. So you have to draw a line sometimes to say, that was fine for this period, but you've got to be something different. You've got to be more physical, more focused, carry more intensity into the next drill. Good tempo, good tempo, man. Now you got them on their heels. You got them going. Look at your splits here. This is Tiger. This is a reverse snug. Check it out. He's coming. He's coming. This is like our whack. Okay, look at the card. Snug alignment. Reverse snug alignment. That's right. I heard it. I heard it. I heard it. Here comes the toss. What our guys do with the service teams, meaning that we're servicing the defense or the defense services the offense with regard to the opponent. It's probably as important a job as there is on the football field. This is your way of, of showing your side of the ball what it is they need to do to get ready for, putting them through their paces. So it has to be very exact. It's very well uh, orchestrated, very tightly orchestrated. I run the offensive team against our first defense. 
Uh, that way I get a certain tempo out of the offense. It's also my way of really getting a feel for what our defensive game plan is, what our defensive coaches think uh, the, the opponent, in this case the Jets, are going to run against us. Bounce it, bounce it. Start downhill and then bounce it outside, Justin. Start downhill and then bounce it outside. That's what Curtis Martin does. Bounce it, bounce it, bounce it! That's what he's going to do! Downhill then bounce! Three wide! A double jet. Double right, jet right. Double right, jet right. Talk to each other, help the new guy. Good, 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 good. Oh, yeah! We'll get about 20, 25 snap of our opponent's red zone offense. And conversely, obviously, our offense will get about 20, 25 snaps of red zone uh, uh, in a given week. So it's a very isolated, it's very specific. You've got to get a lot done in a very short period of time because it's a very critical part of the field, but you want to make sure you cover it adequately. Hold on. Dot left, dot no, left. No one, right? Scoop, scoop. Go. Go. Yeah. Here's scat left. Scat oh, left, no scat left, scat left. The, uh, the verbiage that we use, particularly even when working with the scout club, uh, you use your own verbiage because this is a practice time for them. For a lot of them, this is the only real film work they'll get. So you can judge how a player is progressing, particularly a backup, a young player, rookies, obviously, developmental guys. Last one, last one, man. Good work. Last one, last one. All right, we're going to a short motion in to build the bunch. Scat right. Looks like a star. Looks like a star. Scat right star. They're just like the quarterback. They're just like the, the tight end. Uh, they need to come out and have a good three days of practice, and so far they've had two good days. Dealing with the media is always something that's ever-present. It's our way of communicating with the fans, and uh, sometimes it, it seems uh, uh, invasive. It's always there. Uh, a lot of times you have to do it at a time that you really don't want to do it, uh, but uh, you have to be respectful. You have to be professional. You, you hope they reciprocate in the same way, uh, but it is our way of communicating with the fans and letting them know that we do care. We understand uh, where we're at, what we're doing, what we still need to do, and uh, it's something that I, I have to do uh, during the course of the week, uh, all throughout the week, all the way to uh, Friday.